What's up guys, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. And before I st start this video, it's gonna be a short video. Um, the reason why I say peace and blessings because the words, the tongue has power. And I can say, I've been saying this for the past year and that's what has been happening in my life, peace and blessings, because that's what I'm putting out and I want to put it on your life too as well for the people who watch my videos. And uh, you know, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 26, verse three, it says that that will keep him in perfect peace because that mind is stayed on thee. So when you have your mind centered on Christ and the most high, uh, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Now, of course, the enemy does try to come to try to steal my blessings, steal my peace. But in the midst of it all, the most high, you know, gives me peace. So let's get let's go with this video. I did not want to make this video today. I wanted to actually make a whiteboard video today, but God has put this in my heart to warn the people. Okay, so this is in Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18 to 20. Before I share with the scripture, I want to let you guys know, you people who have the spirit of the world in you, um, and this was once me, so I know, I know how that spirit operates, okay? Uh, you're afraid to tell certain friends, certain family members, uh, the people around you, okay? Maybe even your girlfriend, your boyfriend, right? You're afraid to tell them the truth, okay? You see them in sin, you see them, um, and you know, let's say they were in sin and they die and they didn't repent. You know, there's gonna be, there's gonna be. A, I'm not gonna say they're going to hell because only God knows. But the Bible does say certain lifestyles will lead you to hell. Okay, and the Bible says that if you don't warn them, not only will they be held accountable, you too, because you knew the truth. And see, the people who have the spirit in the world in them, they're afraid to lose family members because that's what comes to speaking the truth. You know, you don't. They, the people who have, the people who are gonna you, that you are correcting are gonna feel like you're judging them. But you know, you're actually showing them love. You know, you're actually showing them love because, like I said, if they were to die that day, you know, who knows where they would be going? They'll be, uh, they'll be, you know, held to a higher standard because, or sorry, you would be held to a higher standard because you knew the truth, you knew, and you didn't want to warn them. Okay, so Ezekiel chapter three, verse eighteen to twenty says, "When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou shalt give him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand." Okay, so you'll be held accountable. All you guys who watch my videos are not just my videos. Anyone else is speaking the truth. You know about certain sins. You know about certain things that are leading people in darkness, keeping people in bondage to Satan's kingdom. You know that, but you refuse to warn them. Okay, you're going to be held to uh, just like them too. Okay, so don't be afraid. To sh start sharing these videos, liking it. So it gets out on the algorithm so more people can watch it. Okay. Even, even if God is not anointed to be, be a teacher, which is fine because the Bible says, um, be not many masters for we shall receive the very condemnation. So not everyone's called to be a teacher, but you got to be sharing these videos. If you're not going to go out here and be on the front line, you got to be helping us soldiers of God who are on the front line, who are exposing wickedness, exposing sin, exposing Satan's army. Okay. Verse 19 to 20 says, but thou warn the wicked and he not turn from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way. He shall surely die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay, so check this out, guys. This is crazy. Verse 20 says, Again, when the righteous man do turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him a warning, he shall die in his sin. And his righteousness, which he had done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So all the righteousness you did, all the money you gave to the poor, all the street preaching, uh, all the type of stuff, right? All the righteousness you helping, you showing love, God won't remember any of that, okay? So if you turn from your righteousness, even the Bible says that um, the fool returns to his vomit, okay? And it even says that it, will be, it was better for some people not even know the way of righteousness, okay? Because if they, if you know, if you know the way and you depart from it, it was better for you not to even know, okay? The dog t goes back to his vomit, Okay, that's what the fool does. The fool always goes back to what God has delivered them from, whether it's a certain sin, um, a certain like friendship or a certain like a relationship. The fool always goes back. Okay, we don't want to be fools in the last days, guys. We got to be the wise virgins. Okay, and like I said, guys, you got to be you know sh start sharing this type of content because there are plenty of people, guys, who are in Satan's kingdom and they have no idea. Okay, there's plenty of people who are committing a sin and they have no idea it's a sin because they don't have a preacher, they don't have a teacher, they don't have someone to inform them. You know, just like how me once before, I didn't know that certain sins that I was committing was a sin that I was gonna you know be liable to go to hell because I didn't know. So we all held to accountable. A lot of people want to be call themselves Christians. And so let me, let me talk about this real quick. Okay, so I understand that, you know, it's easy to call yourself a Christian, but when it comes to actually, you know, picking up your cross, denying yourself and having people not want to be your friends no more, don't want to be around you no more, taking you for granted, using you, abusing you, uh, you know, all that type of stuff, right? That's what all what it comes with. So don't be afraid to tell certain people the truth because that's what a true Christian is. You know, having people hate you just because you tell them the truth. 
Okay, even the Bible says they hate the one who speaks the truth. It even says in Galatians chapter 4, verse 16, am I, uh, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? So when you do this, yes, you're going to have enemies. People are going to hate you. People will call you weird and crazy. But hey, you're standing on God's truth and you're a warrior for God because not many people are willing to do that. You know, most people are just trying to be religious. Uh, most people are just trying to, you know, lukewarm, one foot in, one foot out, you know, have friends and keep company with the ungodly. And they want to just, you know, make excuses why they keep it. You know, the Bible says, blessed is a man who keeps company, uh, not with the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners. Okay. So this is another verse I want to read to you. This is in uh, Ezekiel chapter three, uh, 33, verse 8 to 10. It says, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou do not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if I warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine them away in them, how shall we then live? Okay, so guys, repentance, repentance, repentance. That's something we got to be doing every single day, okay? We got to, even the sins that we don't know we're committing, because like I tell you guys all the time, the Bible says if a man says he's without sin, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. So no one should be saying that they're without sin. Because according to the scriptures, he's a, that, that person is a liar and there's no truth in him. Okay, So repentance is key. Uh, confessing every single day. We all know what the scripture says. Whoever confesses his sins and forsakes them shall obtain mercy. So yes, you want to confess it, but also forsake him, which means, you know, repent. Okay, And it says that he who does not. Uh, whoever harden, uh, whoever does not uh, confess and, and forsake a sin and repent hardens their heart and they shall fall into mischief. Okay, well, mischief means trouble. Mischief means like no peace. Okay, so always, guys, confessing your sin. You know, like I said, guys, it's not just like this the fleshly, like you know, like warmongering and stuff like that. It could also be you have envy in your heart. There's a lot of people, guys. There's a lot of people. Us people who have discernment, the gift of discernment, we can see people who have envy, jealousy, pride. Uh, air against sea. We could see it from a mile away. You know, this is the age of narcissism. This is the age of demon. <laughs> that's crazy, man. They really say demon time, bro. Like that just shows like the times we're living in. Okay. So guys I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who they want to tell people the truth, but oh, I don't want to get judged or, you know, I don't want, or you know, I don't want to have no friends. And that's what guys, that's what comes with picking up your cross and nine yourself. That's a true Christian, a true follower of Christ. Okay, not many people, these churches, guys, a lot of, not all of them, of course, but most of them ain't really telling you the truth because they know that you have itching ears and they know that, you know, that truth is going to cause you to change. And most people ain't willing to change. Most people are just going to be religious and not going to be spiritual, be led by the spirit. As many are led by the spirits, uh, the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Not many people are being led by the spirit of the most high. Not many people have the Holy Spirit. Not many people have the spirit of truth. You know, how can you have the spirit of truth if you're, if you're afraid to tell people the truth? How? If you let me, let me repeat this. How can you have the spirit of truth who the world doesn't receive because they see him, not neither know him? So how can you have the spirit of truth if you're afraid to tell people the truth? Be bold as a lion. Okay. So I hope I don't want to make this too long, but I hope you guys took heed to the message. This is a warning. I did not want to make this video, guys. God put it in my heart. So I gotta warn you guys, man. If you know someone in sin, if you know someone in darkness, okay. Uh, if you see your friend in the air, you gotta warn them because the blood will be on your hands. I already took guys. I can quit my YouTube channel today and I'll be good because I already did my job. I already warned people, I, 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 but you see, I'm going to go hard because I'm going to go hard for God's kingdom because that's what he called me to do. But I know I don't have no blood on my hands. And I, that's why I had all my friends, they all disappeared. All my our so-called friends, they all disappeared because I warned them, you know, and certain people, not just the friends, pe pe you know, family members too. They want nothing to do with me no more. All of it, all because I told them the truth. So that's what comes with it. And uh, even though we might be alone, but we have God with us, you know, so if God be us, who, who could be against us? And the Holy Spirit is our comforter. So we just got to keep on endearing. You know, I know it's not easy. It's hard. But, you know, like I said, guys, if God be us, who could be against us? I love you guys so much. If you have already, that's why I said it, guys, it's important. If you're not preaching the truth, you got to be sharing these videos. You got to be hitting the like button so it hits the algorithm so more people can watch the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.